are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Steve. I'm always very envious of of your collection of toys behind you. It just looks like it's such a wonderful space. Right. I, I'm I'm a little envious of your singing voice, but you know, there we go. <laughs> um, uh, if you could get the financing for any project tomorrow, what would you make and why? Whoa! What an unexpected uh, question. Um, you know, I would probably do, uh, I would probably do a penguin movie, right? Like I would, that, that, that continues to be, uh, my, my secret agenda. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I don't know, uh, the answer to that. There's, um, a script that I can't really talk about right now that I'm very excited about that hopefully, uh, gets going sooner rather than later that I, that I would probably, uh, use that money to finance. I love learning about the behind the scenes of a making of a movie, a show, whatever it is. What do you think might surprise people to learn about the making of Central Park? <laughs> um, doing a fully animated series uh, from home for a year is a pretty surprising and astonishing feat. Um, people recording songs uh, through pillows in their closets uh, is probably not something people will think about while watching season two, at least I hope that's not what they're thinking about. Uh, and also the idea that so many different artists work on this show and some incredible uh, musical writers, uh, especially season two, we have Big Boy, Shaggy, Wyclef, um, so just some tremendous talent, uh, Bobby and Kristen. Um, I, I think people are going to find themselves, uh, if they love season one, uh, even more immersed and in love with what we've done season two. Yeah, season two is what we call good. I especially want to single out episode six and eight. Uh, episode eight is great. Uh, and I could get really specific, but enough of that. Um, uh, how long does it take from when you guys start writing to when the show is actually able to be aired? Man, you know, we, we it, the whole process takes about a year. I mean, we, we start with uh, treatments which become outlines, which then uh, set up the benchmarks for where we want the songs to be, which then become scripts written with music, which then become thematics, which then become animatics, which then become color, which then have to be, fi be finalized. So it's it's a process. And it's a never ending process. And and there is uh, this juggle that's been going on the past few months where we're literally still finalizing episodes of season two while to pre-visualizing um, season three and, and juggling those things is uh, kind of crazy, um, but also uh, wonderfully rewarding. Uh, th this is a show that continues to uh, pose unique challenges uh, and I feel like we continue to meet those challenges every step of the way and, and hopefully give uh, something that is as entertaining as uh, anything that can be found out there and also hopeful, filled with that optimism um, and that joy that I think, you know, a show like Ted Lasso as well um, finds in itself at a time when the world is filled with cynicism. Um, so that, that's what we strive to do. I, I think you nailed that. Um, so season one had a sort of an overarching story. Season two is a little more freewheeling, freewheeling, gets into more individual stories. How are you, what's season three going to be like in terms of, are you doing like another like season long storyline or is it more season two? Uh, season three, I would say is a pretty good hybrid. I think we found our sweet spot. Um, we are tackling some, I, I think that there's a self-assuredness and ease going into the third season of the show that our incredible showrunners, um, Kelvin Yu um, and Stephen Davis, have just um, allowed us to challenge ourselves to tell stories that are um, complicated, that are um, challenging, and that are wonderfully within the realm of storytelling that we've done before, but also surprising and inventive and doing things that we've never tackled before. Um, I, I got an email the other day from Leslie Odom Jr. just talking about a script that we were writing and a song that we were writing that he just said he, he it brought him to tears. He, he was just so blown away. So I, I, I think that we keep raising the bar for ourselves and hopefully that bar will continue to get higher and higher. I'm very excited that the show continues to air on Apple. The um, 
uh, the thing about the show is that you guys have such incredible songs in like every episode. Um, how difficult is it to make to 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 deliver these great songs week in and week out? It takes a lot of hair color because I I keep going gray uh, from trying to uh, rise to the challenge of topping ourselves. Uh, but the truth is, is that we never settle. Um, if, if there's a song that comes in and it feels like it's sort of just kind of there, uh, we'll scrap it. We 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 really keep uh, wanting and keep desiring and keep challenging ourselves to do songs that feel as timeless as the stories that we're telling. And I think season two uh, hits the mark even more than season one in that capacity. Definitely want to ask about a few other things. I'm almost out of time. Uh, what what's the status of uh, Shrunk? Uh, the 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 status is I fingers crossed think we're going to hopefully be shooting it early next year. That that's that's the 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 status right now. Now the status is ever changing, but uh, we're all feeling really confident about it. Um, okay, my last thing for you. Um, I'm obviously incredibly excited about the Beauty and the Beast uh, prequel series. Uh, when, and now you're, you're co-executive producing, co-writing, you're obviously very involved. When do you think that's going to be filming? And how many episodes are you guys planning on doing? We're doing eight episodes. Uh, should be early next year. Uh, we are in the midst of um, finishing the scripts right now. Uh, I can tell you that it is one of the most ambitious projects I've ever been a part of. Um, Luke and I are so excited about uh, bringing these characters back to life alongside a brilliant and unique new talent in Brianna Middleton uh, playing this incredible new character named Tilly. And Liesl Tommy, uh, who's our director, is planning to do some unbelievably ambitious things with this series, uh, as well as um, our, our showrunners, Adam and Eddie, who are, uh, I, I, <laughs> are really, really, really going places I think audiences are not necessarily ready for it. I cannot be more excited about this show. I think it's going to be enormously special. Thank you for your time. Good luck with uh, the rest of the speed dating. You're the best, brother. Great to see you.